Yeah. And just like that, Woo! we are on awesome. another episode. Episode 188 of the show. Almost to wow. Almost, Almost there. Almost there. Wow. Almost there. Wow. Sounds good. And this is, uh, we've been traveling around the world. We've met a lot of comedians, and today we have a special comedian on the show. Yep, we have Amar. Amar. Uh, I, I like to hear that I'm special. I've never... <laughs> okay. Ali, I thought you had this. Ali, I, I thought Thank you guys. Guys. Amar, where are you from? I'm from Syria. You're from Syria. You're in Syria right now? Who's oh, in Syria? Of... Like, there's, there's no one in Syria. There's only, only half of Assad is in Syria. And he's dead. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, hey, well, you, you said it, not me, right? Let me smooth this tape off the way because it looks really bad. Uh, well, our first Syrian guest. Welcome on the show, Amar. Welcome on the show. Thanks have- a lot. I, yes. um, I, I, love, I live in Amsterdam and uh, yeah. 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 Perfect. <laughs> not bad. Uh, so why don't you tell us not a little bit about all. yourself, <laughs> who you are, what you do, all that good stuff. Uh, well, I'm uh, I'm, Arda, I'm a I'm a stand-up comedian and a writer, and I acted a couple of times. And uh, well, that went well, obviously, because I'm not acting anymore. So, uh, <laughs> um, I've, I'm a I'm a Comedy Central. I hate when they say I'm a Comedy Central comedian because I'm not a Comedy Central comedian. I'm a comedian that happened to have a special on Comedy Central. Fair. Uh, I yeah. I do I do. Um, uh, I did my special uh, with Comedy Central in 2000. It was aired 2019. Mm. And uh, what else? I've been doing stand-up comedy since 2012. Uh, I lived in Dubai for a very long time. So my comedy career started, my stand-up comedy career started um, in Dubai. But I started writing in, are you ready for the date? 2002. Jesus is Lord. Whoa, 2002. Ali, how 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 old were you in 2002? I was a four year old kid. Something. I was three years old. Uh, Said, how, how how old are you with them? With them? Uh, I was five in 2002. <laughs> 2000, 2002, you were five. Yeah. yeah so that. you got three, four, and five. <laughs> in 2002, in, okay, 2003, I met my wife. Fair. Of course, it's fair. <laughs> I mean, it's you're giving us a date, right? Imagine saying, like you're giving us a... in 2003, I met my wife. Unfair, unfair. 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 That's unfair. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's right. uh, that's Perfect. that's me in a nutshell. All right, Amar, right. welcome to the show. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. It was fantastic. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I love um, I love watching Syrian comedy shows. When I was growing up in Lebanon, we used to watch a lot of the Syrian comedy shows. I don't know, there was like they were shooting a lot of film uh, or show, TV shows in Syria. Uh, yeah, were, were you yeah. part of were it you was... part of any of those shows, or did you watch them? <laughs> I I I, yeah. I watch a lot of them, of course. I grew yeah. up watching. It's uh, okay. Like in in the Arab world, we all know that it was it's it's the Egyptian uh, productions and the Syrian productions, of course, the Egyptian productions are way more older and the industry there is is much more mature yeah. i think it's but more known as they, like egyptian is more of the comedy aspect of filmmaking meanwhile syrian was more of the drama action like yo there you go as simple as that but it was a good show it really was a good show like but, we all but, grew up but that. no ali honestly uh t- to be honest uh the Syrian art, let's say Syrian productions were known by comedy because it started with Gawar Tosh, if you remember Gawar Dureid when he had it. And you're talking about the 60s. So uh, we were known for, for comedy, but then uh, in the 90s, I think 92, three something, it, it just evolved and it started and there was an industry it, it was never an industry and it will never be if we continue to to act the way we are but, but it's mean, good nbc basically they're they're literally the whole filming industry in arabia like they got everything bro they're they're the disney of arabia whoa <laughs> Just That's why mind. Arabia is fucked up. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the Disney of Arabia. That's, that's... <laughs> I'm yeah. busy action. I yeah, guess I used so. to watch that. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Mate. I heard Mate. someone, I heard someone, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, you were saying, so, sorry, yeah. No, I was just saying, like, they are buying everything, so it would make sense then, to, be <laughs> named, to be nicknamed the Disney of Arabia. They are. Yeah. This is the, this, because we are, we're just great in this. We're, we're, in, we're amazing in Monopoly. This is, this is, yeah, Arabs oh, are we fantastic in oh. Monopoly. <laughs> we win, we win every race as long as we are the only ones racing. So it's, it's pretty much, I don't know. I heard this sentence. Somebody told me, you know what, man, NBC, they want to, to own comedy in Arab world. I was like, okay. <laughs> Goodbye comedy. In Goodbye. <laughs> then there's no comedy in Arab world. Oh. Because... Yeah. The amount of censorship that they do is just, it would ruin comedy for in Arabia. Yeah, but it's ridiculous. It's not only them. Not only them. Honestly, if uh, every I went, I went. Um, I was just invited to Dubai TV to to do a show, to write for a show, and to do um, a stand up set. And I was honestly, when, when they told me, I was like, like seriously, <laughs> do you really want me to? Do you guys know Dubai what TV? I do and what I say? Yeah. <laughs> like... Do you have an idea about? They said, yeah. Okay. So they said, please, but you have to audition to the the manager. I was like, the manager? Who's manager? The manager of which? Like what? They said, no, no, Dubai TV manager. I was like, okay. okay. So we went there and I auditioned for this guy. And my bit was about kids. And the bit goes, and I'll just speak in Arabic because... My stand up, my, everything I do is in Arabic. Fair, so it's like, it's just, it, it the, the, the bit... It talks about الحمير, like the, the, the donkey <laughs> like we all everybody have the, we 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 all have donkeys that we are raising but we never admit it we'd never say that our kids are dumb or stupid or for or our english listeners in or, arabia you know donkey <laughs> actually means re, like retarded an ass like, yeah, an, like a, stupid. not a retar- not not retarded but yeah idiots idiots, idiots. yeah yeah yeah, yeah, idiots. yeah. yeah. But we never, we never admit that. And uh, <laughs> now, the idea is, the idea is very harsh. <laughs> you think you're the one you're putting it yourself on? Oh I was, I was the one. Self-identified. I got, yeah. I got myself into the stupidest situations as a kid, bro. Let me not it's get not into. Not only you, this. like, Yeesh. not only you, all of us. But the, the point, the point is that the, the, the bit was so harsh. I mean, the idea is harsh because you're talking about your kids, and we have this. Mm this that yeah kids are sacred and you shouldn't be saying this about your kids so but uh, this this didn't didn't really bother him what bothered him is that i said they used the word hamir like i was like lala you can't say this word i was like oh this was your problem so is if if i say my daughter is an idiot is that okay and he was like i I can ask about it i was like shit dude okay these guys don't get (laughs) These guys don't get it. Like it's just. Yeah. By the way, we did that show. Mm -hmm. We did that show. Uh, We wrote. uh, It was. It was like a. It was like a talk show. Uh, Can't remember how many episodes. Anyways, it doesn't matter. So we wrote. We wrote that show. Me and and another comedian, Abdul Al Ansari. I I should. I I think you should have one day. But uh, but anyways. So we wrote. We wrote. We wrote that show, and we did stand up bits. It was me, Abdul Al Ansari, Iman Khalouf. uh, I can't remember. Anyways, and we thought that dude, Dubai TV is progressing, man. They're they're just really stepping up their game. That's cool. Interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah, they shot the show. They shot the show, and it 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 just cost them a ton of money. And then they mm-hmm. tank it. They just uh, they didn't do it. Yeah, they didn't air it. It's 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 on a shelf somewhere. Why not? Because though? after because uh, they realized that it's uh, way above their their ceiling. And mm. No problem. Okay. Put it on a shelf. Let's, okay. let's, let's, let's talk yeah, about yes, it. Yes. I can see there's definitely a problem there. <laughs> oh do, you, do you actually like, does it, what is it called? Um, do you get annoyed when this happens, when you've worked so hard on a show and you put, you're you all into it and then all of a sudden they're like, yeah. Of course. It's not going to. What about of it? Of course. You? <clears throat> um, as a comedian, and comedians are known for being the the poorest people in the industry <laughs> in the industry right um everything else means a lot to us more than money 
So it's not about money. It's about the ideas, about the jokes, about what, what we have done. And um, you're just to see your hard work just put there in some drawer because some ass said that it's, uh, no, no, we can't do it. Then from the beginning, don't hire me. But um, right. this is this is go. this is our reality. What, what can we yeah. do? We have we have to maneuver around maneuver. it. That's Why right. is it just because the people in charge aren't like maybe comedians? They're more like TV executives, and, and I think the problem is bigger than I think the what? problem is bigger than that. It's mm -hmm. not that they're not comedians. They're they don't belong in the industry. They don't understand entertainment in the first place. Right. Uh, it's to them. It's just if you know six singers and a, a belly dancer and a, and a, <laughs> a half an actor, then you're good. You're you're that is you're true. fine. That's perfect. Yeah, and and they think they think that if you're if you're capable of pulling strings here and there and getting favors of I don't know. Anyways, um, yes. it's it's first. just it's yes. just uh, people who are not. Uh, you're talking about people who do not understand what is this industry. This is yeah, this true. is how did it become an industry? It became an industry because in the U.S. they realized that this thing makes money. Right. Because people went to bars and theaters every day. And then when we realized that we can we can do this, we can air this on TV, mm -hmm. they realized that we can make money here too. That's why people, I mean, the Americans realized that, yes, we can invest in this and it will give us returns. I don't believe that in the Arab world till now that there are people who are seriously investing into uh, into industry, like the serious industry. Serious. So by industry, you're not just talking about like TV. You're talking about like doing it at like hookah cafes or just cafes or theaters. Um, is there, is it, do you not have that's that? That's a different all? thing. That's a different right? thing altogether. So, so mm -hmm. that's, that's the cultural part of it. The right. cultural part of it is when you have a, a scene like for, for three or four years in Dubai, me and my friends, uh, fellow comedians, we, we, we try to create a culture of people going to a bar or going to a, a cafe or a place to watch stand-up comedy. And uh, we try to, to teach them or not teach them, teach them is like a horrible word, but just to educate them, inform them that Comedy is a process. It's a process. It's not. It's a, it's it's not a it's not a sketch show. Okay. Right. So you don't come yeah. every day and this comedian is doing a different joke. It it doesn't happen. This this comedian is working on their next half hour or or let's say one hour. So they are he they are working jokes. So so he, they're practicing you, it. They need to like the do fun. It. The fun yeah. is watching the joke evolving. This mm -hmm. is the fun. Uh, it was very difficult. And by the way, this part of the conversation is very, very technical. And this is honestly, it's 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 a much more sophisticated than the, the real situation. The real situation is, and I'm just talking about Dubai, uh, and not Dubai because Dubai, because because Dubai now is an entertainment center, right? Whether we like it or not. Mm -hmm. Uh and and it, I, I just remember this in 2009 or eight, Dubai had 8,000 hotels. This means that if if these hotels, each one of them have had only one outlet, this you have 8,000 restaurants and bars. Okay, so okay, you can't finish them in in one year. So people, <laughs> in, you can't finish them in one year. You uh -huh, just true. you need you need you need yeah. ten years. You need ten years to finish them. So the, the point here is mm -hmm. the competition is so high. People are so used to freebies. So people will go and have a lousy meal and we'll have a, a guy who's, who's just had three lessons learning to, to play Oud. And he will sing <laughs> And, and they will, it's, it's fine, it's great. So right. they are used to entertainment being, it's an add-on. It's it's part of the package. It's part of the deal. They don't, you don't pay. Go, you don't go to pay to see a comedian. And they don't, yeah. exactly. They don't pay to see a comedian. I think it's mm -hmm. improving. Now, I think the yeah. situation is is getting better now a little bit. But uh, honestly, mm -hmm. the, same, the same Arabs, when they go to Europe, they spend money. When they go to America, they spend money. They go there and they buy a ticket 
and they will go to watch uh, Chappelle or CK or Cross or any of these guys, right? And yeah. they will pay. They will pay top dollar. Mm -hmm. Now here's here's the thing: they go and they spend money to watch, just like you said, Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Louis CK. These these are these guys are known for being the kings of comedy, right? So there starts to be a bit of an issue when this guy who's like just into comedy you know it starts to be like you know why is no one paying well buddy those guys used to do at the apollo theater at the apollo theater they weren't paid a lot and it's like i think it was free wasn't it was the apollo theater free they they probably got There's paid only yeah. the apollo theater. Mm -hmm. like they would just come in for like stand-ons you know yeah uh, maybe openings maybe, they'd open maybe. the show yeah, mm -hmm. right. I'll tell you something. You know, I'll just I'll just tell you the difference. The difference is, <clears throat> comedians out there have worked for ten and fifteen and twenty years sometimes, and they didn't make money. Mm. But the term "didn't make money" doesn't, doesn't mean success. they were not they were not they were not able to pay their bills. As a working comedian, if you're a working comedian in the US or in, in Europe, you, at least you will be able to pay your bills. Like you you will rent a lousy room and and you will be able to, to pay your bills. But in the Arab world, it's not if you cannot even make money out of it. For three or four years, we have done gigs in in, in the UAE. And I'm telling you something, if there are people who was who spend, these people are are in Dubai. These are the people who, who spend, <laughs> and and they will not. The it's it's very costly. Everything is so costly, and it's very difficult. You have to have already. You already have to have a reputation for you to be able to make money in the and, and do shows in the Arab world. Well, that's that, a different. That's yeah. that's a very special aspect of 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 Dubai because Dubai in general mm -hmm. is mainstream. It's very mainstream, and they have they have put themselves in this in this category, and and honestly, they deserve it. They will not accept to have a normal street. It has to be a five-star street. <laughs> if you get, <laughs> get into a building, it has to be... Even if you get right. into an accident, it has to be a five-star accident <laughs> where you're... <laughs> your, your head will, will fucking crack open. It, it's just... <laughs> It has to be <laughs> always top notch, and top that's notch. that's Dubai. It's yeah, it's sure. it's the, the our region's Vegas. Mm -hmm. the, uh, CK didn't make it in Vegas. They right. don't they don't go to watch him in Vegas. They only have the uh, top tier in Vegas. Carlin it's, Carlin yeah. doesn't go to Vegas. These guys don't go to Vegas. Right, you know, that's true. Yeah, no, that's that makes sense. So, and all the Arab countries, do you know like what would be one of the better places to do stand up comedy? If that was what you're uh into like doing arab comedy i think i think uh, lebanon now lebanon has has a beautiful a beautiful scene yeah. um the, the number of comedians is is not is not big i know some of them i was i was honored to to work with some of them they're they're fantastic they're brilliant brilliant really good uh egyptian comedians are are really good, but Egyptian comedians, uh, I believe that the Egyptian society is so harsh on everything creative uh, uh, <laughs> oh, that, no. that, that comes there. Yeah, 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 because it has to go through a very like narrow, you know, like if you say, I don't know, blah, 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 then they will boycott right. you and they will follow you in the streets and spit on your mom. And <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little too specific. <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to be. I wanted it to be very specific. <laughs> there, funny, but... but 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 I know I know I know there, there are some great comedians. I I, I worked right. with, for example, from from Kuwait. I worked with Ahmed Shimari. I, Episode I, coming I, soon, guys. <laughs> he's coming on the he's yeah, coming on the podcast. I'm very excited. Ahmed Shimari yeah. and I I Kuwait I hope comedy that he, club. Yep. I hope that he hears this. Mm -hmm. Ahmed Shimari is. If you talk about the Arab world, he is definitely top five. is is fantastic comedian, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant sense of humor, okay, and great abilities, great comedic abilities. But I know that there are a lot of restrictions in 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 uh, in Kuwait, in the in the UAE. Ali Sayed, I don't know if you know Ali Sayed. Ali Sayed is a master. Ali Sayed is my mentor. Ali Sayed 
taught me how to write jokes, taught me how to do comedy. And um, this guy is fantastic. But mm-hmm. again, we are all, all, all Arab comedians are very much limited by the ceiling that is set by our societies. Like, of course, the ceiling is not the same in, let's say, Saudi Arabia and Lebanon. Of course, it's right. completely different. very different. Um, in Syria, you you can you cannot even talk. So, <laughs> let alone <laughs> let, right. let alone make jokes. So, so. Oh my God. yeah. All right. Do you think that that that's Ali, Come on, it's just don't be. The, hey, dude, don't be. Listen, listen. No, I mean, yeah, don't saying. help me. Listen, if I said it, I would have gotten in trouble here. You're the one who said it. I'm just like, ooh, uh, thank God someone said it, right? That's, that's true. Mm. That's all I'm saying. That mm, mm, mm. that that's that when that ceiling happens, sometimes like when you can't talk about some t- subjects, they will say, just joke about the things you can joke about. You don't have to joke about these other things, right? Whatever, the more controversial yeah. stuff. Um, and then, okay. and Not this is like, all right, as, why, is it, why is it important to be able to joke about wh- whatever you want to? Like, why is Cause, that? Because life is about, okay. Uh, 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 you enjoy life when you understand life. And understanding anything means that you need to analyze it. And you cannot analyze any, anything unless it is put there very simply, like any other object, and you are able to dissect it and dive into it and, and know it. Right. And, and we have a lot of red lines that prevent us from doing that. And the perfect way to bringing down anything to the the table where you can really dissect and analyze it is humor and ridicule Mm -hmm. you need we need to ridicule any concept any idea and anything in society we we might just allow us to at least give it a try just give it a try but the problem is that you can't say like i have i have uh just and, and and before i say the example let me just say this the problem is not what they allow and don't allow the um the censorship is Mm -hmm. so dumb and so short-sighted that they cannot see beyond certain words it's just about vocabulary it's never about the ideas and this is the real problem Uh, um if 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 there's if they understand that there are that there are some huge huge ideas Mm-hmm. put into simple words but they but they seriously don't understand that they but, will uh, just oh don't say that don't say don't say these these is bad. <laughs> don't say these all right can't you use other so you can use other <laughs> words to communicate that same idea i thought it was the opposite from my understanding i thought like you're like you're allowed to be a little bit like outrageous we're still, we're still talking about the level smoke, like <clears throat> cigarettes on stage or whatever and like just do jokes and Versus yeah, like yeah. if you're talking about like something more specific, like an idea, then they're going to get mad at you versus like you can cuss all you want. That's from what I understand. Ali, you're talking about yeah. mad. And, uh, mad is where they, you say a word and they're mad at you. Right. But <laughs> if you're talking about what, if, when they start, on, <laughs> when they start discussing your ideas, you end up in jail. Have you heard about these? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, dude, what, no, the, what the fuck are you it's talking true. about? It's what? true, dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, co- Egyptian comedian, a fellow comedian in in Egypt. His name is Muhammad Ashraf. I don't know if you heard of what happened to him. <clears throat> he had this 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 bit. It was <clears throat> it was uh, his bit. Uh, it was about Izaat uh, Quran uh, Karim. If you heard about it, there's in Egypt. There's something called Izaat Quran. I don't know why. Why do you need something like that? Anyways, so Izaat Quran Karim, and this guy makes fun of. Uh, the the hosts the the announcers do I don't know what you fucking call them so these guys <laughs> oh my god the ones they say like uh, Bismillah and I don't know he was making fun of the way they talk the way they talk mm-hmm. he didn't make fun of Quran he didn't make fun of Hadith he didn't he didn't make fun of any holy or sacred I don't know blah, 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 nothing <laughs> it was the person right he just, the, the way he just imitated and made fun of the way that these people normal humans talk mm-hmm. and you know what happened it was escalated and this guy ended up in jail for I think like two weeks 
Like, what the f- <laughs> I just imagine <laughs> someone just doing a silly Seriously? voice. You're like, oh, oh blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You're doing a voice. Oh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and that gets you arrested or something. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> I can see where they're coming from, to be honest. Like, I'm not going to lie. I can kind, kind of, kind of. I'm not saying it's right. To arrest someone? Ali. I'm not saying it's right to arrest them. I can just say that, listen, here's why comedy in Arabia isn't working. Because we're too attached to how comedy in the States is going on, where there's no such thing as respect or being respectful towards anything or anyone. And we want that shit here in a country or in, in a region that's all about respect. Respecting who's being right? respected? <laughs> who's what do you mean being who's being respected? The people? I don't know. Like you respect the people. There's a reason why. You respect someone by putting them in jail? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying well, what they did was right. I'm just talking about the whole main idea of what he was talking about. Respecting the, the people in charge. That's what it is, man. It's not just the people in charge. Respecting the people in front of you. People, you're, you're, you're performing in front of thousands of people who mm-hmm. you don't know on a personal level. Right. If you met one person. This is the problem. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. If you yeah, met yeah. one person, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. First time you ever meet this person, you're not gonna say please on the first time you meet them. No, it's not gonna happen. Like, and it's <laughs> I, I this, do it. <laughs> that's I'm, on I'm, you. I, I, I'm social, socially a very loved person, and I have <laughs> a lot fine. of friends. That's you. <laughs> but try doing that in Arabia. It's not. It's not gonna work, man. I, I did. I, I lived most of my life. By the way, I've been in Europe for a year only. I've oh, okay. I've, I've lived all my life in Arabia. Let me tell you, Sim. We are fucking hypocrites. This is who we are. We lie. I, I don't. I don't agree. Wait, I let's don't hear it. Don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, 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 I love that. I love that you don't agree because this will just put fire in this conversation. Let's do Listen, it. Listen, we are hypocrites, and we are like every other human on this planet. Mm. We love. We hate. We get horny and we say stuff and we are always cursing and and I'll tell you what I used I, I grew up in Damascus and we used to stand by my father's shop and it was in a in a beautiful area in Damascus it's just next to this beautiful area it's just like a street where uh, there's all these fashion shops and and women were passing by we will look at them at, like you look at cake. It's just, and, and we just like, oh man, but we never, we never admitted this. We never admitted. All of us were nice boys. Very nice. Very nice. She's so cute. She's so cute. We are, we are hypocrites. Right. And you know what's the problem? Mm-hmm. When you call a hypocrite and you tell them, hey, listen, dude, you're, you're lying. You're a hypocrite. And they will say, mm-hmm. you know what? Okay, man, just, just, just don't tell anyone. <laughs> but in the Arab world, they don't even say that. They would say, no, what, me? No way, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not. Um, and this is, this is the problem. You're talking about, you're talking about respect, right? Mm. First of all, why do I have to respect your opinion? Or why do I have to respect whatever in the society? I will respect whatever I believe re- deserves respect. Respect is earned, not given. It's earned. Any concept, any rule in this society should earn my respect. Fair. You want and, me to answer? And, <laughs> yeah. I'll answer that point. It's easy. Why? Because if you, it, wow. if you give someone respect <laughs> to begin with, they can respect you back. <clears throat> but you can't walk in being disrespectful and expecting Who people told you? to... Respect who told art. you that? Who t- who told you I demand respect? Because I I I, I walk the walk, buddy. Okay. I don't respect I don't I don't respect an idea before I test it, and also I don't want anybody to respect me or my ideas before they test it. Simple. Okay, fair. So so you you want to be disrespected? That's what you're saying. That's what I'm understanding. Oh, that's what you understood? Yeah, Dude, honestly, that's what now I'm I now I understand why you were related to the bit I said in the beginning about the kids. <laughs> oh my god! Ah, <laughs> ah, you tried all to get. That's good. Oh my god! Okay. Outrage. That's how. No, 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 no. That's how. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. 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 That's man. how you want to do it. We can do it like that. It's a comedy show. Ali, you're supposed to say things that make people. 
people uncomfortable, man. Right. Yeah, no okay. point of Listen. comedy. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you. No, no, no. no, no, right. no one's. Listen, listen. Let's, let's, let's. Sorry about that. Back. Yeah, no, 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 that's fine. Let me just say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, oh god, that's fine. Don't worry. No, sorry, man. <laughs> no, uh, but it was fun. Listen, I'm a comedian. If I see a joke, I, I have to, I have to do it. I yeah, fair. I no, I didn't say anything. Man. I, I didn't say anything. That's fine. But anyways, what I want to tell you is, no, no, no. I did not say. I, I ask for disrespect. I don't mm -hmm. ask for disrespect. And, okay. Uh, and my initial, uh, my initial feeling or perception or towards anything is not disrespect i'm not saying that yeah fair. but i'm saying but i'm saying that it is our right to question everything and and if if we have that right this means that you cannot ask me to automatically respect i don't know this or that and i have to test it i have to understand and maybe i will disagree with you Fair, but there are reasons to why you have to give a certain level of respect to certain things. For example, you came on the show, right? Did you find me being respectful to you? Never. No. Fair. Okay. And that's why. That's no, why no, no, no. I'm sorry. Being sorry. I mean it. I mean yes. Right? And that's why you're being. Okay? I was respectful to you, right? You would have been respectful to me. It's, it's how it is. But but no, yeah. on a serious note, let's let's. But like this Ali, but but if right? I know, but it's like you have to be able to say what what you think, man, because or else you're being a hypocrite. If you okay. think something but you can't say it, what does that mean? What is that? No, the, here's listen. You guys have the definition of hypocr hypocrisy all wrong. When you say something mm -hmm. but you believe in something else, that's hypocrisy. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. But when, <laughs> when but when you believe in something else <clears throat> but you don't say anything, that's not hypocrisy. That's not. That's the stupidity. Not really. No, it's called being <laughs> silent. <laughs> silence it's is violence. <laughs> silence is not violence, bro. <laughs> Listen, leave your anti-American bullying bullshit in the States. It doesn't work here. But no, that's 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 my point, right? That's what I'm trying to say. Right. There are respect. Now, this is what I love about comedians in Arabia, especially comedians like Ahmed Chimiri. Here, mm -hmm. here we go. Mm. There are limited ceilings and red lines that he's not supposed to cross, right? Okay. Your art is a creative art. <clears throat> so what he did, and this is why I really adore his art, and I'm a huge fan of him. Mm. He learned to use his creativity to move around those boundaries, still getting his point across, but not getting in trouble at the same time. Why? Because he's creative. And that's why not only is he a good comedian, but he's so creative to the point where he can get his point across. You know what he's trying to say, but he hasn't technically crossed any red lines. But there, yeah, there are different kinds of comedians, Ali. There are people like in America, for example, you have like the Kevin Hart's a comedy and you have the Louis C.K.'s a comedy. And you have the people who are like uh, can I... more family friendly. <laughs> Your thing, I'm okay, right. Yeah, sorry, Ali. Yeah. I'll just say something. First of all, <laughs> you cannot say that about Ahmed Shimari because you're not in his head, number one. Number two, uh, Picasso is Picasso because he was allowed to think the way he wants. Mm. And just I want you to imagine Picasso drawing in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So what I want to say, and again, this is not against Saudi Arabia. This is not against Kuwait. It's not against these countries or these societies. We are all victims to our own censorships, self-censorships. Uh, let me tell you something, Ahmed Shimari is an amazing talent, but here's my word, and this is my, I guarantee that, if you put him in an environment where he can think freely and, and talk freely, you will hear some brilliant ideas, innovative ideas. Uh, look, some comedians have done groundbreaking work, like, for example, George Carlin, and this is the pinnacle of comedy. This is the purpose of comedy. Comedy is not supposed to only talk about mundane uh, 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 topics that are like I, I don't. I don't want to talk about. I don't, I don't want to laugh about accents now and then and tomorrow and the day after. Look at <laughs> Russell Peters. Russell Peters have 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 done a couple of or or a couple or I mean three specials I think and the fourth special is is a flop because he's just he cannot do more than that, but when you when you really allow comedy to innovate, 
it will provoke your mind. And by the way, provoking your mind doesn't mean that it has to always lead you in the Louis C.K. way or the Bilber way or the Chappelle way. Jerry Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld is a genius. And Jerry Seinfeld just uh, teaches you how to imagine. So we lack these things, Ali, and we have to admit, listen, if you go to a doctor, even if you have a problem and go to a doctor and the doctor tells you, listen, buddy, you have, you have this thing and, and, and you have to fix it. If you don't admit it, you can simply say to the doctor, no doctor, you're an idiot and I'm not fixing it and I will not do it. And you will not take the medicine. So you cannot, we cannot fix the problems of our society unless we admit and acknowledge that we have these issues and these issues need to be attended to. Maybe, but I still start with that. <laughs> Maybe. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying your point is yeah. like terrible or anything. I'm just saying, uh, like, my opinion. <laughs> I mean, it's nice it. when you say, look, man, I'm, I love this jacket. I'm not saying it's horrible. Uh, no, of course, obviously, it's not horrible, but it's, yeah, no, it's a jacket. Uh, no, because I don't want you to understand me in a wrong way. That's why I'm. I'm <laughs> It's I don't. I don't. I know, man. I don't. It's called preemptive <laughs> measures. You know what I mean. Listen, man. I'm. So, I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not a bully, but I'm. I just, <laughs> no, don't worry. I don't I'm, get bullied I'm, easily. Trust me. I'm yeah. used. I'm used to. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Okay. Let's see. That. <laughs> no, fine. There we go. Okay. Uh, yes. You can bully me all you like. I can always, you know. Nah. Uh, Ali, who do you I'm, I'm not, who, no. who do you respect, Ali? You're talking about respect. Who do you respect? Just so I respect. Know, I respect the person that. For you. All right. Mm -hmm. Fair. I respect people that respect me. Let's start off there. What is right? okay? Yeah. What do you mean? What is respect? You respect, for example. Mm -hmm. I respect the law. Why? Because they're there for a reason. The law? Yeah, literally. Who, okay. Who's that? The law. Well, Laws. Ah, oh, the no. law. You yeah. respect the law. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. they're there for a reason. Mm -hmm. You can. You. We can. Let's debate this. I can, there are people. Saeed. No, 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 no. I saw in the cops. Reaction. I want to debate this right now. We're doing. <laughs> There are people, there are cops that beat people up, dude, for no reason. I'm not again. I don't talk about the United States because fuck the United I'm States. I'm not They're retarded. And what do you think, dude? Everywhere. I know why. Listen, <laughs> the, uh, listen. I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not pro United States, and I don't give a fuck about the. No, United you're States. not. He is. That's the issue. I'm the, no, 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 no. I, I don't. I don't. No, yes. no, no. I don't care. I just want to tell you something <laughs> because mm. today I was I was thinking about this. Today, I was bringing my 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 girl from swimming class and we had to walk we just we we went down from the bus and we were just walking down the street we wanted to do there was a signal and it was it was red for pedestrians and and we were standing there and it was raining it was cold like super cold mm. and there was no cars on the street so okay. i crossed i crossed on red and she looked at me not in a car on a i'm a pedestrian i'm walking so she looked at me and she said, Daddy, you, you broke the law. And I said, listen, no, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't break the law. I, th I, I was thinking, I used my brain. And that's it, simple, that's it. I, uh, listen, man, unfortunately, unfortunately, we, well, I'm, I'm out of that region now, but I lived in it most of my life. And I have to tell you, it's a fucked up region. And we don't, we cannot trust our governments. We cannot trust our leaders. We cannot trust our laws because they are all partisan and they're not fair. And I'm not saying every law out there, but I can say that in the end, the situation is not good. Come on. Who are we? Who are we? Are we fooling ourselves? Listen, in, in your parts of the world, maybe in our parts of the world, like Alhamdulillah, everything's okay. That's true. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, but things are not okay if you if you drive a good car and you live under 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 the AC. It's not. <laughs> this is not the point. I lived in Dubai for 15 years, and I'm grateful to Dubai for for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. But I reached to a point where I will tell you, I I can't. I just can't, because the society and and again, I'm telling you, God God bless them, but. I cannot live in that society anymore, and it's my problem, maybe not theirs. So mm -hmm. I fixed it by leaving. That's fair. it. That's, that's a fair thing to do, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like you were fair to yourself. Yeah. You removed yourself out of that. But what about? Right? But let me ask you this question. Go ahead. What if? What if? What if I was in your shoes? What mm -hmm. if I was like 
Amar was in living in Kuwait and I'm a Kuwaiti citizen and I wanted to do and say stuff. And I'm not saying political. I just wanted to think out of the box and I was stuck and I cannot leave Kuwait. I cannot live somewhere else. It's Kuwait. I, it's, it's, it's my country. It's my home country. I cannot do that. Mm. What do we do? It's do the old do? respect your home or leave. <laughs> but if you can't respect- leave. No, no, there's dude, no such thing. Listen, 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 listen. There's no such thing as a Kuwaiti that can't leave Kuwait. Yeah. It oh happened a hundred times before. Yeah, of there course, anybody can leave. They go anybody to the, leave. Bro, yeah. they live in like the middle of London, UK, right? With their citizenships revoked and they're doing just fine. If your citizenship is provoked, you're not doing fine, dude. You're just no. You're, you're doing just yeah, fine. Yeah, you, you, you have a, you have a huge foot up your ass. This is that's that's what's happening. No, so you're that's not. not true though. But that's not true, dude. Bro, it's I true, can, yeah. I don't want to name names. Listen, I don't want to name names. But there are currently Please famous don't name people. Names. Yeah, <laughs> I can get in trouble from the government by just saying <laughs> names. There are famous people mm-hmm. who got famous off of doing either what you do. Or something close to or related to what you do. Hmm. I'll even be a bit more specific. How about that? Famous off of uh, social media. I don't care, man. Right? <laughs> no, I'm doing I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing it for the viewers. That's the thing. <laughs> and they are living in London, citizenship revoked. Uh, yeah. They're living in like the top hotels. They don't want to come back because they know that as soon as they come back, they're in some deep shit. Ooh. Because of some of the shit they did. Not limited to money laundering. <laughs> that's like, I didn't some, hear about that's this. That's some of the stuff, <laughs> but it's not limited to those kind of stuff, right? And, and they're in trouble for either sharing ideas or they did something like the, they got their nudes leaked or some of them said something that was against the government and they're all there. They're doing just fine. Le- bro. You can add them on like Snapchat and Instagram. And you can see how they're living fine. All right. So that's a situation. Quit. You think they're they're fine? They're the or they're this is, the situation you described is not in Kuwait. <laughs> the situation you described is in London. No, but those and are Kuwaiti people who did their shit in Kuwait. And it doesn't away. matter, Ali. Man, with all due respect, the, all just right. the point. The this the the the, the very point that. Mm. You are saying that the, these people had to flee their home country for ideas. I'm not talking about criminal stuff. I'm not talking about money laundering. I money don't laundry. care about this. We are not in this field and we don't care about it. What I'm saying is the I the, just the, the notion of fleeing your home country for an idea is disgraceful. Simple. This is what I'm saying. And 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 let's Let's move to another topic before yeah, I before put you we all do. three in jail. Before we do, before, <laughs> before we do. I put this is this is this is where I pull the ace from my left pocket and smack it down. It's not about Ooh. the way they. It's not about the way they said it. It's I'm sorry. It's not about what they said. It's about the way they said it. It's all about respect. Ooh, that's the matter, man. Because they were very disrespectful, severely disrespectful. What else do you think was going to happen to you? You think people are going to be like, oh, congratulations, you shared an opinion. Xbox achievement. No, that's not what that's not what's <laughs> gonna happen. Like respect is a huge part of our community, and I I honestly don't think we should change that. Yes, and that's just my opinion. I know I, I'm for wait, I want to be for respect. I'm all for respect. But when someone disrespects you and expects you to respect them, that's where I'm not uh for that. Maybe in Kuwait things are good for you for now, looking mm. good. But if there's ever a situation where someone disrespects you, <laughs> don't feel the need to have to respect them back. <laughs> Yeah, no, I won't. I won't right. respect the back. It's as simple as yeah. that. It's not that if someone disrespects me in Kuwait, I'll cut his head off. It's that simple. <laughs> yeah. What? It's not, it's not gonna go down for him. Like he's what? either gonna apologize. He, he has the time he has to apologize is the time it takes my hands to reach his neck. Why would it, a discussion about respect and exchanging respect end to end up in chopping heads, dude? Just saying. Like it's as simple as that. Like, uh, this is you're, remi- you're reminding me. You're reminding me of an incident that took place in in France, uh, like uh, a few weeks ago. <laughs> Bro, what happened in France? A few weeks ago? Tell me what happened. Is it? Yeah. Well, what happened? That, thing with the, that that thing with the with the uh, with the guy who who cut that teacher's head just because he thought that he was disrespectful. It's just 
And honestly, listen, I was joking, bro. <laughs> oh my god, I was, I was, I'll, I'll beat the shit out of him, cool, but I won't cut his head off. Like, that's yeah. where I draw my lines, bro. I, I, I understand, I understand, I understand. Dude, that's, that's yeah. Cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get, do you get right. stage frights? Whatever you go do a comedy special. Def, def, definitely, <laughs> not, not even, not a comedy special. Every time I go on stage, I'm, I'm. You really do get a stage. Oh, like genuinely. And, yeah, I'm worried. And do you think do you think with time it should die out or how do you think it uh, like I feel it? much better bef- I I feel now after th- these years yes I feel better mm-hmm. but uh I still I'm I'm con- yeah I'm worried I mean every time I go on stage what, what's your biggest fear of like something <laughs> to happen on stage why why is that fright still there I mean for it to still uh, be because because when you understand Okay, first of all, first when this happens to you, you don't understand why you're afraid, and it's the, it's the same thing because if, if you're afraid of, of anything in the world, you will not understand, and they will always the first advice you hear is just break it down, just break it down, break down the situation, try to understand what's happening, and um, this this what happens with time in comedy, but you break down your fear and you understand why you are afraid or you have this stage fright then uh, uh, how do you break down you realize that if your material is good that yes the material is good then maybe i am not i will not be in my full form then maybe the the, the mic is maybe the acoustics of the place are not good maybe the, the audience tonight is i don't know what's going to happen maybe there's a distraction the problem with stand-up comedy that there are I don't know. I will not, I don't want to exaggerate, but there are more than several issues that can re- make you. F- they can fail you, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but there's only one thing that the, you, to 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 really do a great set. All of these elements have to line up. So this is this is the problem. Yes. This is this is the and fear. It's external. The things that can go wrong are a lot of it is external. Right? I, a lot of them are not in your control. Exactly. Yeah. So it's the fear of control, basically, of how much of it is in your, <laughs> how much of no, it is no. out of your control. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. No, Ali. It's not the fear of control. It's in fact when you when you when you control what you can control, your material and your delivery, then the, your stage fright is is much lesser like i will just tell you this incident uh uh 25th what's today 26 oh my god 25th of november last uh year i went to rome and i watched louis ck live in rome Ooh. yes and uh this uh it's he was he was prepping for uh louis ck sincerely and uh we watched a show it was he went on for for like an hour and 10 minutes anyways in the end of the second third of his set, uh, he his he's he started this bit about Auschwitz. I don't know if you've watched that special, but uh, there's a there's a bit about Auschwitz. And suddenly, one like someone in the, in the audience, he, he heckled him. He heckled him bad, and he went out. And anyways, it was it was it was bad. Okay, but. Louis managed it pretty well, very, very well. But after that, the energy of the whole room dropped. Oof. And he, he lost the momentum till the end of his set. Is Louis not a great comedian? Of no. course not. He's a fantastic comedian. Okay. Wasn't that a beautiful room? It was a fantastic room. It was a theater in the heart of Rome that had like 1,600 people. It was great. But this thing is... Is a thing that you cannot control. Simple. Fair. Uh, how 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 would you deal with hecklers? <laughs> I will first of all, I will give them what they want. I I don't I don't want to to piss them off because if because if you if you piss them off, uh, in fact, do you know why they do that? They do that because because of ego. Like uh, yeah, I can I can be like funny like you. You cannot. Yeah. <laughs> I've worked on this. I worked for years for this, uh, but but you just give it give, give it to them, give it to them for a, for a second, and then shit on them. That's it. That's my that's my ninth shit. Or no, nah, don't worry about it. But yeah, finally, I agree with you on something. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I do. If I have. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'd be like, okay, yeah, talk. What do you have to say? Are you done? Okay, shut the fuck up and sit down. Like literally, yeah, just, yeah. like just exactly. That's it. Yeah, give it to them and then just slap on 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 their ass. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I like that shit. That's that's good stuff. Yeah. Uh, Saeed, you've been silent this whole episode. What's going <laughs> yeah, on? Yeah, man. Where I don't know. I'm 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 in love with with the curtain behind. <laughs> Said, where are you talking from, man? I'm in Lebanon, so I have been trying to talk throughout the the show, but my voice keeps cutting off, so it doesn't, you know, sometimes it gets delayed and you guys don't hear me. So mm-hmm. I guess that's the reason. You sound great now. You do sound great. Go yeah. for it. You Go for okay. it. Last question. Give us, last give us the last question of the day, <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> like voice when there's traffic and stuff, yeah, you guys aren't going to hear me. But uh, when I'm the only one speaking... You guys are going to hear me. <laughs> um, no, actually, uh, what I wanted to ask is, um, so I, I've actually faced this problem. I'm not, not like, what I do is I I write a bit. I used, I started writing about a year ago, comedy, just like on the side for myself, uh, make a few jokes. But I never found a way to do a proper, like my presentation skills are shit, basically. That's my first shit. I'm allowed to use it. <laughs> um, uh, I think... <laughs> I did what I did realize is I'm more of I'm more funny in the sense when like in the in the moment you know like when you're just sitting with your friends and then something happens I can I can be funny on the spot and I think uh, Ali you can both Ali's I don't know but Ali Al-Hajj more can attest uh, to it more I'll attest like, oh, to it why not <laughs> sure sure funny guy <laughs> <laughs> but like what can what advice can you give to someone who's who's working on his presentation skills you know like he can he can write jokes uh still is working on that but he doesn't have a good presentation like for joke for his jokes are you are you asking me yeah 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 I'm asking. <laughs> oh okay okay uh, it's 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 uh okay first of all you need any presentation is mainly two things First of all, the content. Second of all, the delivery. Uh, yeah, the- so you can you can you can be if if your if your content is is shit, it's a problem, but it's not unsalvageable. You, you can you can you can really save it. But if 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 your delivery is horrible, even if you're talking Mark Twain, even if you're saying whatever you're saying, if your delivery is is bad, then your delivery is bad. So you need to, and this does not come unless you practice. You have to practice and you will, that's why they say, they tell comedians that you will bomb. Don't, don't, you will bomb and you will bomb and you will bomb and you will bomb. And then you will reach to a point where you would start loving bombing, but don't love it too much. So you have to learn <laughs> from bombing. And this because is, they- that's, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You understand it. You say, that, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. You have to practice. You have to go out there and practice. And then you will realize that your beautiful script is is maybe shit and you have to do it again. You have to write it again. You have to write and rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. And every time you uh, practice it, every time you you just uh, uh, tell it in front of of an audience, you will you will hear a different, you will see the reaction. You will see the feedback and you will work on it. So that's why comedians have been doing comedy for 30 and, and 35 years and 40 years. They still go on stage and try jokes and they bomb. Louis C.K. I just watched, I, I, I watched this uh, old interview of Louis C.K. And he said that every two years, I'm an open micer again, because he's working on a new hour. It's just jokes, just one liners. He just, he starts with, with lines, with ideas, with bullet points, and then they elaborate. So that's how it grows. Those are basically the best hi- the highlights of uh, his content, <clears throat> right? Um, I'm sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't understand. What do you mean? Okay, so like the specials, like the ones that you see on TV and the, the, the yeah. shows, they're mainly yeah. the highlights of the actual work they've been they put in. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll give you an example of. Uh... Okay, usually what they do is they will work on. Uh, 90 minutes sometimes it's more than 90 minutes and um, of course they will have more but they will pick 
the most successful 90 minutes <laughs> and they will do them. And, and then after that, they will go to the edit room and they will shrink them down to an hour, hour five, hour 15, 45, 50, it depends. But, uh, but yes, you, the, they have to nail 90 minutes at least. Well, would you look at the time, boys? It's been an hour and we've been <laughs> Wow. But, yeah, dude. Wow. Like that. Yeah, an hour passed yeah. by. And yeah. uh, thank you so much. If you're this part of the episode, wow. please do subscribe, like, share. Uh, do you have anything you'd like to let Practice makes oh. perfect. So the more you like, the more, the more you like, the more you practice. That Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a horrible implementation <laughs> yeah. of what I said, but that's fine. Great. It'll work. <laughs> <laughs> No, but here, here, do you have anything you'd like to let the world know? Anything you'd like to shout out? Me? Yeah. Okay. I want to say something. I want. I want. I just. It just. Um. I. I I'm asking the the Arab youth, please, please, please support, uh, local talents, support local talents, and and you spend on McDonald's and uh, Dunkin' Donuts much more than you spend on attending a cultural event. Go out there, support local talents. If you hear of any independent uh, 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 initiative here in Europe, online, streamline, whatever, please support them, uh, even, even with donations, even with buying a ticket online. Mm -hmm. uh, I, the last thing I want to say, uh, we are working, me and, and some friends, we are working on a show that will be streamed up from Vienna on uh, ho most probably on 11th of um of december so uh it's just we are putting it there please guys feel free i will just give you the details and oh, uh, perfect we'll check your link the description to find out where you can follow ammar where you can look yes. at his future projects mm -hmm. uh thank you for watching thank another you, episode by the way did you subscribe 75 percent <laughs> of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed That's so not let them know what happens if they don't subscribe <laughs> oh my god no, no, this is, this is the point. I just have to say this. I just have to say this. Mm -hmm. Guys, really, whoever is watching this, support every initiative. Support our youth. Because basically, these are the That's new us. generation. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And basically, here you can, you can hear a word that will really help you benefit. Uh, forget about this. What I want to tell you is you have to subscribe. You have to subscribe to this channel. You have to subscribe to this uh, podcast and listen to it. If you don't like it, shut it off, man. But at least give it a chance, okay? You will like it. I guarantee you will like it. I'm a very wise man. These guys are cool. Great. Do it. All right. This is how we usually sign out. It's a salute to cover the cap. And if you don't subscribe, you get AIDS. Bye. <laughs> like big shopping stores are and stuff. And so sometimes like on the more violent nights like they break the window just like you're seeing with some of the looting and stuff right. like they break the windows and um and they get they confront the police and the, and they there would just be all kinds of just pandemonium in the name of i guess sort of that this sort of american capitalist economy i mean that that was what i saw more than anything and that yeah. that was to them fascist and so i felt like it was important for people hey you may like or hate capitalism but you should know that this is a part of their ideology. It's not just, they're not just going and fighting fascists in the streets. And so the other thing too, is that as a reporter who worked